all over Chicago. Let's hear it for Vicki Lynn. that I have been um, going all over Chicago. You know, I'm trying to get my name out there because I'm a narcissist and I want to be famous. And basically, I just want a maid because I'm tired. <laughs> Seriously. That's the only reason I want money because I feel like in a past life, you know, I was rich, but I might have been a bitch to my servants. So <laughs> I came back in this, like, poor. So, um... I was going all over Chicago, and the one thing I really enjoy about Chicago is the men. The men in Chicago are so sexy, and since I've only been meeting male comedians, you funny and you sexy, makes my clothes fall off. <laughs> so I have to talk my coochie down off the ledge oh, God. <laughs> when I go to Chicago. I know, sir. I apologize. I'm sorry. It's a disturbing image. But Makuchi climbs on a ledge because Makuchi wants to jump on that dick and on um, on that dick and I'm like, no, no coochie, don't do it. And so since I can't pull my coochie out and I can't pull my coochie out, right? <laughs> so since I can't pull my coochie out and, and have the conversation that I have to have to talk my coochie down off the ledge, I would like it if somebody would be a volunteer. Andy, Andy, come over here and be my coochie. The biggest, ugliest coochie ever. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Andy is going to be my coochie so that I can demonstrate the conversation I have to have with my coochie and talk it, you know, talk it down off the ledge. And he's a perfect representation of my coochie because he's big and out of shape. No! So, this is the conversation I have to have with my coochie. I got hand here with my mom. <laughs> All right. It's okay. You need an Ativan volume? It's going to be all right. You're going to make it through this. I promise. <laughs> all right. I wasn't talking to my coochie. I was talking to Andy. So, now he's my coochie. All right. No, coochie, don't do it. No, don't jump, coochie. Don't, don't jump, coochie. Now, I know. I know you want to jump all over these penises, but you can't do it. <laughs> If you jump, you'll commit whole suicide. If you commit whole suicide, you'll go to whole hell. You don't want to go to whole hell, Coochie. The tunnel's probably made of herpes bumps. Super got a is waiting at the gate and he ain't wearing nothing but a cape and his penis looks like a split cigar. His fully formed babies crawling out of used condoms in whole hell. I know. Jim Henson and Walt Disney all having orgies with puppets. <laughs> They're making Mr. Rogers watch. <laughs> it is not a good day in the neighborhood. <laughs> R. Kelly pissing on little girls at the abortion clinic. Don't do it, Poochie. Just don't do it. You don't want to go to whole hell. I know, Coochie. You want to go buy batteries? Yeah, we can go buy batteries, Gucci. Yes, we'll get the good kind. Yes, with the rabbit. Yes, for the rabbit. We can do that, Gucci. I know. I know. You want to go walk down by the river so you can feel better about your odor, Gucci? Huh? I know. That always brings your confidence level right back up. I know, Gucci. I know you've been through so, 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 so much. Spitting out them four babies. I know. I know, Gucci. And I know it's been so, 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 so long. That ain't a joke. It's been so long. Somebody help me. <laughs> but I promise you, Coochie, you're going to make it through this. You're going to be all right. Okay? So let's just 
go get you some batteries and me another bucket of ice cream and we'll go back to Beloit, Wisconsin where you're safe. All right, Poochie? All right, let's go. That's right. All right, y'all give it up for my Poochie. Thank you. All right, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Um, all right. I just want to talk about one more thing before I get out of here. Um, any single people in the house? One? I oh, know, baby. We'll go eat ice cream together. Just me and you. I oh, know. I oh, know. But it's okay because a lot of people are jumping into relationships these days too quick. And I don't know if it's the impending doom of Armageddon. Or I don't know what it is, but... You know, people are jumping into relationships too quick, mm -hmm. and um, some of y'all might be in unhealthy relationships and don't even know it. So, since you're the only single girl in here, I'm kind of have to, you know, talk to you. And but really, you're safe after you hear this. You're safe. So, <laughs> I do. I give examples of healthy and unhealthy relationship scenarios, so that you will know. If you in an unhealthy relationship. Okay, so example number one would be cell phones. A lot of problems with cell phones. Um, a healthy version of cell phone ringing. Man, cell phone ringing. Healthy relationship. Cell phone rings. It says, baby, can you answer my phone? Unhealthy relationship. Bitch, don't touch this phone. I done fixed this phone. I can tell if it be mess with. <laughs> and you white folks, if you don't know, that's a reference from The Color Purple. Yeah, I should watch more movies directed by white men. So, another scenario of unexpected pregnancy. Healthy version. Damn, baby, that's messed up. What are we going to do? Unhealthy relationship. Damn, bitch, that's fucked up. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> right? Um, let's see. We have uh, him coming home from work. All right? He comes in. Healthy relationship. Hey, babe, where you at? I'm home. What's for dinner? Unhealthy relationship. Bitch, where the fuck you at? I don't smell no dinner cooking. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. Got unexpected pregnancy. Cell phone. Um, her appearance. Let's talk about her appearance. When she comes downstairs, she got on her makeup. She's got her hair done. She's feeling good. You know how we get, ladies. Yeah, we feel good. Healthy relationship. She comes downstairs and he says, damn, baby, you're looking good. You go, girl. Good for you. Look at how sexy. <laughs> <laughs> that end last part was black relationship because I don't think white men talk like that. So, um, <laughs> unhealthy relationship. Bitch, where the fuck you think you go? <laughs> Who you trying to fuck? Huh? I know it's that high yellow motherfucker down the street. You know what I'm saying? You looking at him when he's jogging past him with a lot of shirt? Yeah, uh huh. I don't think you're going nowhere tonight. You better get your ass upstairs and take that shit off. Take it off. <laughs> I'll take it him. Oh. Bad kids by him. Oh. Don't worry. It's over. We broke up. Kids, too. So, uh, <laughs> I can't remember my other scenario right now because uh, I'm having a little. Uh, Womanly problem. <laughs> I don't care if y'all know. But uh, I just want to, you know, let y'all know if y'all haven't, if y'all basically dealing with Ike Turner, uh, it's probably time to break up. And I would never tell a woman to break up with her man, you know, if she didn't have a job. Um, <laughs> but you might want to leave him alone. I always say if he hits you, or the crack pipe, it's time to go. All right? <laughs> so, my name is Vicki Lynn. Thank you guys for listening. All right? And if you have not taken a picture with me, 
Please take a picture with me because everywhere I go, I take a picture with people because y'all put a smile on my face, all right? Okay, thank you. Give it up, Fran.